Cincinnatus was a legend that every Roman knew about. The story of a poor farmer with modest lands who, when his city needed him, donned his toga and assumed absolute power to lead the Romans twice in times of crisis. The first was a war that he quickly won before returning to his farm, and the second was to prevent a wealthy man who had purchased grain for the city in a time of famine from making himself king. To the Romans of the Republic, he was the quintessential perfect leader. Although he had absolute power, he always gave up his position as dictator once he had solved Rome's problems, and went back to feeding the people as a farmer. His ability to nourish Rome with his own hard work and his respect for the Republic juxtaposed him with the villains he faced. Rich men who buy things that they don't work for in order to gain power for themselves. Hundreds of years later, when Rome was a massive empire, they still identified themselves with the poor farmer who took up arms to protect his community. And thousands of years later, a guy called George Washington was so impressed by Cincinnatus that he named a city after him. 